Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to build a homemade test light. The test light I'm going to be building is uh, it's more of a logic probe. It's used for like checking things on computers and, and like cars. For uh, you, you touch something on a computer and you can tell whether it's positive or negative. Let me show you what I got here. A uh, Two light emitting diodes. One green for, I'm going to be using that for to tell me ground. And I got a red one for positive. And when you're hooking up diodes, uh, you want to put some resistors in line with them to limit current flow. So you don't, if you hook up, most of the time when you hook up LEDs straight to power, you'll pop the LED. So you got to have a resistor in line. Uh, got a little 9 volt battery. I'm going to be using this to simulate like a car battery or something. Uh, got some test leads I'm going to be using to, to wire this stuff up and then I'll hook that up to a battery and I'll do some tests. Uh, let me show you this diodes. Uh, one thing about diodes, if you look at them, at least all the ones I've seen, um, they usually come with one leg is long and one leg is short. And as far as I know, the long leg is usually the positive. Uh, anytime I've ever tested it, it's always been the case. Um, here's another one. You know, you can see the, uh, the long one's positive. Usually what I do is when I first get it, I'll take my long lead, which is it should be the positive, and I'll just bend this out a little bit like that. And I do it to uh, lay that one down. I do go ahead and do it to both of them just so I know that hey uh, that's the you know when you start twisting these together and stuff you might get confused but me I always bend the positive out I just get it out of the way okay now the way I do this initially I'll take my two LEDs and see how they're like this the if you're looking at them you know this uh, in line should be the one that's in line is the negative the one sticking out to the right when you hold them straight up is the positive so I don't I don't want to go positive to positive and negative to negative I want to switch it around so that I've got a, a positive connecting to negative and a negative connecting to positive I'm just gonna hold those together like that and I'm going to twist them together like so try to hold these out and do just do one at a time now I'm not going to solder any of this stuff or anything I'm just doing it simple to show you guys an idea of how to do it if you're doing it at home you may want to solder this stuff or you may want to you know make it make it a little nicer than what I'm doing but okay all right so see how you got that basically uh, one of these is going to go out to your like your test probe and you're gonna wire this side to some resistors now I got a whole bunch of resistors you can play around with them and you know, do Ohm's law, figure out the math and whatnot, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to just going to put it together to show you guys how, how it would work. But now that you got your LEDs done, you can. What you want to do is just twist. Uh, take your two. Res you need two resistors. You're going to twist. Just this doesn't matter. Stick it on however you want. Now uh, you just twist these together simply okay like this kind of trying to stretch them out a little bit okay and that's it basically what you're going to do is you're either going to hook it up to this or that side and then one's going to be your output and then this you can hook up let me get my leads here okay you got to kind of figure it out to um, 
when you touch it if it doesn't work right you just you'll see let me twist that hook this up to a lead hook this up to my uh, negative okay so I got my resistors ready let me go ahead and set that down I'm gonna hook up my battery positive to positive and negative to negative alright okay you can all see that now got my stuff hooked up okay so I got positive to positive negative to negative this wired up to my resistors okay now I'm just gonna make a little loop I'm gonna make a little loop right here just to uh, test this now okay basically this has to go here but I'm gonna test it first before I I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hold that like that now I'm gonna touch the positive see which one lights up oh, see I got it right now the uh, the green ones lighting when I touch positive and the red one touches when I touch negative so that means I got it backwards so I'm gonna go ahead and switch this around test it one more time now when I touch positive when I touch positive the red light should come on which it does the red light come on and when I touch negative the green light comes on which it does okay so that's the circuit it's pretty simple I mean uh, doesn't get much easier than that you know so now I mean now I want to twist these together make my permanent connection just to show you guys And I could solder this and make it nice and neat, but okay. So the, I mean, this is the circuit pretty much right here. You know, you have a two resistors, two LEDs. Imagine there being a probe here, like inside. This would all be inside a like a plastic container, and you'd hook up your cables, and this would go to your battery. But I'm just doing a little simple makeshift one. But it's still the same principle. I mean, so I got resistors together, the LEDs together, and the output together. Okay, so I'm gonna hook this back up now. See if it works. If it doesn't work, I gotta switch my polarity, but I'll give it a shot. So if I was building this for real, I mean, this would be like I said, this would be a little. Um, Got my leads hooked up and this would be my clamps to hook up to a battery there'd be a probe here but I'm gonna to touch that in when I go to red red light comes on when I go to positive I mean a negative green light comes on see how that works simple simple circuit consists of just two LEDs and two resistors and that's it you got your you know your uh, other stuff going to, uh, you know, your your jumper cables. Now, I mean, I, I I bought these resistors in a big kit. It was like four bucks, and I I got all different values, and I got a pack of LEDs for a couple bucks, and I, and I already had all this stuff. But just to show you guys, I mean, I, I actually already have one too. Um, let me show you the one I own. Let me, let me unhook this stuff real quick. But it's the same idea. I mean, it has it has a probe here, positive and a negative. If you look inside here, this just has one LED, and they're like two in one. And there's two resistors and a circuit board and some springs and I don't know. This one's a lot nicer. I mean, this was cheap. It was only like ten bucks. So I mean, but this was like. You know a couple bucks from what I had lying around the house but 
it's the same idea. I mean, let me hook this up to, to positive. Hook this up to negative. And it does the same thing when I touch positive here. Red light comes on. I don't know if you can see it, but red light's on. Touch ground. Green light's on. Same thing. Same idea. I mean, you're probably better off just going to Harbor Freight and buying one of these on sale when they're like 10 bucks. When they're not on sale, they're like 15, 20, something like that. But red light's on. Green light's on. Simple little logic probe. But this circuit here is nothing more than this right here. Except for they have these combined into one LED. But anyway, hope that gives you an idea how these work and uh, what they're used for and a little more insight. But that's it. I just built my own for fun.